following a standoff in Belinda that is now entering its 40th hour. People remain evacuated out of their homes this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Elena Gomez live on the scene with the latest details. Just incredible how long this is extended. Elena, good morning. Good morning. That's right. Since Friday afternoon, so a couple out, couple days here going on that, um, and you can see that this is still ongoing. This area is still taped off. Coming this way, you can see that there is a SWAT car heading this way and some sheriff's deputies leaving here, but we do know that this is still an ongoing situation. The last update we got from LA County Sheriff's yesterday afternoon was that residents were unable to go home if they were in this area, and they were asking residents to stay away as a precaution. Now, here's what we know. On Friday afternoon, LA County Sheriff's Department got a call that someone was shooting at pedestrians. Luckily, there are no reports of anyone injured. When sheriff's deputies got there, the man opened fire on them, and they fired back. The suspect then barricaded himself inside a home. Deputies aren't sure at this point if it is his home or family members. The suspect has been barricaded inside that home since that Friday afternoon, leading to the evacuation of nearby homes and a special crisis negotiation team on the scene to try to get that suspect to surrender. We talked to a resident who had to evacuate their home. Here's what they had to say. As soon as I walked in gunshots, if I would have stayed there in the corner, I probably wouldn't have made it. So I mean, I was here. Sheriffs didn't want to let me out last night, you know, for safety. But thankfully, I mean, I, I'm here back again, but ready for it to be over. It's been a long time. And since those residents had to be evacuated, we do know that Industry Sheriff's Department, La Puente School Police and the Red Cross are providing shelter for those families who aren't able to go back home at Workman High School in the community of industry, and that's just off Temple Avenue. We'll keep you updated on, on all of this. As you can see, though, that crime tape, crime tape is still set up. There is a periphery of other areas that are closed off as well in this neighborhood. We'll keep you updated on the latest. And Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.